Hello everyone, I'm Rumi, and today we'll be looking at the Groot Keep. Did you know that TF2 had lots of more game modes? In casual tab, if you scroll down, you'll see alternate game modes. Under the Mystic tab, you can play on the Groot Keep. But what is the Groot Keep exactly? Many of you probably know this, but it's medieval mode where all of the modern weapons are removed. This is a real interesting concept. Gameplay wise, it's very fun. Being able to play your favorite game in a different style is always nice. Obviously, this game mode shouldn't be taken seriously because of random crits. That's why this game mode isn't included in the core game mode tab, but putting this amazing game mode under the MISC tab with only single map to play with seems like losing a lot of potential. Before talking more about the Groot Keep, I want to thank Dragon City for making this video possible by sponsoring. Ready to become a dragon master? Collect over 1000 different dragons and build your own dragon empire. Breed dragons to get new ones. Hatch them and feed them to evolve. You can train your dragons and take them to battle in order to make them more powerful. There are different PvP modes that let you fight against your friends and challenge other dragon masters. Dragon City is free to play and available on both Android and iOS. I have played Dragon City in the past and I remember enjoying it a lot. I recommend you to check it out. You can click the link in the description and get a special free reward. Without boring you, quick history of the Groot Keep and Medieval mode. 2010, December 17, both got added into the game with the Australian Christmas update. Also, item tests got added. Anyways, the story behind the Groot Keep is that Soldier angered a magician and that's how they ended up on the Groot Keep. That magician will to be Marasmus later on. After a year, committee made an unofficial update for Medieval. For some reason, it never got added into the game, even though Valve mentioned it. Morgan Olay was going to be a brand new map for Medieval, but Valve was done with it. That's how Valve abandoned a whole game mode. What a shame. Let's talk more about the game mode itself. Not all classes are equal in medieval. Demo man and sniper are the best because they can use three of their slots while Scott, soldier, heavy, medic and spy only can use two of their slots. It's not bad, they're still playable but then you have prior and engineer. They can only use one of their slots and that's melee. Because of that, prior and engineer are the worst classes to play medieval mid. My suggestion would be to make Pyro able to use Gas Passer and make a special PDA for Engineer to allow him to build a mini dispenser so they wouldn't be so useless. As Scott you can milk people and use Boston Basher for extra damage. You shouldn't be heading first into the enemy instead flacking and using hit and run tactics. Soldier has banners and has the best melee in the game. The disciplinary action, it has the highest range with random crits enabled. It gives speed boost when you hit a teammate so soldier is pretty good. Also if you combine three of the banners you can basically become gods. Pyro well it has very good melees but any other class does its job better? Only play Pyro if you're feeling like gimmicking. Demo man or should I say demo knight? Boots, shield and a sword, you become an unstoppable force. You can use Islander to become more powerful over time. Half Zatoichi for keep on fighting. Skullcutter for funny random crits. Be prepared because a lot of people are going to be playing Demonite in Medieval. Heavy is actually pretty good in Medieval. Huge health, a lot of damage with melee and chocolate or buffalo steak. Very nice. Engineer, um, don't play Engineer, no Engineer gaming. On medieval, no. Medic is able to use his crusader's bow and amputator. You can deal damage from far away, heal teammates or turn yourself into a dispenser. Sniper in medieval is very powerful like Demonite. If you know how to use Huntsman you are going to have a fun time. Lastly, Spy. Just backstab people, but it's way harder. There is no gun noise, so your cloak noise becomes way more noisy. 
Also, people seem to look around more often, use kunai and go for trick steps or die trying. Now that we talk about the game mode, let's check out the only map this game mode has to offer. The Groot Keep! It's an alright map, very choky and because of how TF2 melee hit register works, you are going to miss lots of hits because of because the random gibbous medic decided to get inside you. Well, fix please. Red team goes up the stairs and jumps down which causes them to get hurt. Super annoying, like why can't I fall into water or something like a hay bell so I don't have to suffer from this fall damage. Anyways, this map is good enough to introduce you to medieval gets old super quick. You know the drill, let's look at some workshop the Groot Keep maps. The Groot Keep but it's winter. Looks very beautiful, it might be even looking better than the normal one. The Groot Keep but it's arena. Uh, map is a bit broken, other than that arena might be interesting with medieval. The Groot Keep but it's player destruction. This one looks amazing. It it's player destruction which is a game mode that probably very little of you know. On this map it's basically like team deathmatch, you kill each other and collect each other's souls. Team scores 45 souls first wins. You must be careful not to drop the souls though. The Groot Keep but with guns. This would be so much chaos and spawn camping. Oh god, I wonder if any server even tried this map. The Groot Keep but it's payload? This map is very hilarious, the route of the payload is already very silly. There is a point where cart must drop below, but just watch it out. I, 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 like, I like this map. The Groot Creep. Basically, the Groot Keep but the spooky. Woohoo! Too bad it won't make it into Scream Fortress. The Groot Keep Free Roam. More like the Groot Keep but broken. Yeah, as a red player I was able to get into blue spawn. Also there is not much place to go while it says free. You cannot go on top of the roofs or just leave the whole place. Disappointed. The Groot Keep at this NVM. This map is very cool. I wonder how NVM goes with medieval though. No guns or Turrets? Like, wouldn't that be super hard? We now finish the deck root keep maps. There is not many of them, so I'll look at some of the different medieval maps. The most popular ones. Helm's Deep. I believe this map is from the Lord of the Rings. Oh, I actually play, played on this map and it's too big to enjoy. It, no. Temple. My eyes, it's. It's too bright, someone give me a pair of sunglasses. Oh, thank you, much better. Obviously this map is themed around pyramids and Egypt. I think this might play out very nicely to you, very good. Bad water, but it's medieval. It's bad water. High tower, but it's medieval. I see a pattern. Hmm. Anyways, this map looks amazing, all the little details. Interesting bomb cart, burning houses afore, and the boat. Yeah, and, and the most important thing, the boat. <laughs> God damn, good lad! Burghausen. Burghausen. Burger. Burger. I'm, I'm hungry. Very beautiful map. Also, it's multi stage like Dust Bowl, which is very nice. Two Castle. This is a CTF medieval map, and you must cross this only bridge. No, there is no other route. Pure chaos. I love it. Shiroma. Japanese themed King of the Hill map. Looks pretty good. Also, you can nearly climb all of the roofs, which is very interesting. Battle Tall. Another Halloween map. It's 5 CV and looks very nice. Skywalker. Amazing map. You're in a blimp and. Not all of to use guns because it will explode the blimps. I don't know how that works, but okay. It's king of the hill and to get to the point you must use the flying planes as platforms and 
jump. Extremely fun. Imagine tripping in this map. Valve, please add this. Room bridge. Another king of the hill map Look, looks great. Bit choky, but I guess that might be more fun with medieval mode. Yeah, all the harvest. Eh? It's harvest, but in medieval style, it looks so cool. Be better than the original one. Also, there is no sniping, so this is a straight upgrade from Harvest. Toy Fortress. You must find whoever made this map and put him in the jail or something, because this is a crime. You should see what's wrong. Yeah, it's a CTF, but there's a capture point. Spawn rooms are basically next to each other. This is just evil. It's so weird and mad that I should censor this. Zero out of ten. That was it, it looked at some maps, I really wish medieval mode got some more attention from Valve, but knowing that there are more important problems, uh, yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please like, wanna see more videos like this, subscribe, hit the bell, see you in another video.